Hello friends and viewers. Today I am going to show the cells of the immune system. Uh, first I will talk about the myeloid cell. Let's talk about first total cell types of the in the immunology. So how many cells are there? So there are many cells. Among them uh, mostly the renowned cell types are like the neutrophil and the monocytes, macrophages dendritic cell, eosinophil, basophil, mast cell, natural killer cells and the lymphocytes. These are the, the major cell type in the immune system. And next let's uh, start with the neutrophil. What are the neutrophil? The neutrophil are the most common WBC in the circulation. That means they are actually white blood cells. And neutrophil and the monocyte are two common circulating phagocytes in the blood. Phagocytes mean actually uh, those cells actually eat other cells. Those are called the phagocytes. And they have granules, so they also called the granulocytes. And they have uh, the nucleus with trilobed features. So, uh, so they are also called the polymorphonuclear leukocyte or the PMN and they increase uh, after the inflammation and this uh, increased number of neutrophil after inflammation is a hallmark in the inflammation because we cannot see the inflammation uh, when the cell number increases uh, especially the neutrophil cell number increases then we see that yes uh, there is something is happening and they are called the inflammation they do not stain with the basic or the acidic dye. The basic is dye the hematoxylin and the acidic dye is eosin. So this type of neutrophil do not stain either the basic or the acidic dye. Hence called the neutrophil because they are neutral to either dyes. And this uh, neutrophil actually uh, have some enzymes in their granules. And this type of enzymes help to defense with the bacteria or virus which actually uh, come in contact with the uh, skin and they try to evade our immune system. They, uh, these enzymes uh, is a type of fast defense system that actually release after uh, infection. And these enzymes actually typically uh, can be divided into two categories like the specific and the azulophilic. The specific uh, enzymes uh, among them uh, they are lysosomes, collagenase and the elastase and in the azulophilic categories uh, they can be divided into the lysosome containing enzymes uh, whose enzymes uh, reside in the lysosomes and the second type is microbicidal substances. They are uh, small peptides and helped as an antibiotic. So they are actually natural antibiotic in, uh, in our body. They are like a uh, defensins and the uh, cathelicidins. Next, let's see that uh, some more features of the neutrophil. Like the neutrophil actually produced from the bone marrow as like as the other um, leukocytes and from the bone marrow they rapidly release after infection and they act there on the bactericidal or fungicidal infection. That means that when the bacteria and fungus infect our body this need to feel comes very quickly to the site of infection and through the blood vessel they go to the site of infection they squeeze through the capillary wall and they go to the infection and kill the invaders the like the bacteria and the fungus and they engulf remnant by phagocytosis you know that uh, after uh, after killing the bacteria there are some remnants or the residual part uh, still reside in our body. 
so they need to be cleared so this neutrophil will help to clear those remnants and this neutrophil are rapidly released but they have short life like the few hours then let's move to the monocyte or macrophages this monocyte or macrophages originally uh, come from bone marrow and they respond as soon as the neutrophil but stay longer like one to two days in circulation and reside in tissue for a long time. They get division in infection site, unlikely the neutrophil because neutrophil when they go to the infection site, those neutrophil do not divide. They actually die up after their work. But macrophage and the and the monocyte they actually go to the site of infection and they divide themselves in the site of infection and this so in the blood the incomplete differentiatory cell are called the monocyte but when they come to the tissue they are termed as the macrophages so they have the bean shaped nucleus having some granules with lysosomes when they enter tissue they are called the macrophage some call the epithelioid cell because they looks like the epithelium and this is how actually they uh, historically discovered and for the first time when they, they were observed they looked like epithelium and a specific uh, tissue resident macrophage have a specific historic name like when these macrophages go to the uh, central nervous system they are called the mitoglia and when they go to the liver they are called the Kupffer cell and then uh, when they go to the lung they are called the alveolar macrophage when they go to the bone they are called osteoclast so they have a different name uh, depending on their location in the tissue so these are the actually the neutrophil and the monocyte in the next video i'll try to get more insight in, into the dendritic cell eosinophil basophil mast cell and the natural killer cell and the lymphocyte thank you for watching subscribe and like us